Alright. So let's try and do this. I'm not I don't know if I'm gonna do the whole build or not on the camera, but uh I might get the motherboard together. So if things don't fit, you guys can see me fail miserably. Hey, it's a it's a uh, life lesson, huh? Okay, I don't have an anti-stack strap on. I usually don't use them. I used to when I was younger and I have them in the other room. I do use them for some electronic stuff. They're very sensitive stuff, you know. There's videos, I think Linus. Was it Linus? Somebody did uh, a video on YouTube about the electrostatic discharge, so I'm not going to bother going into that. But what I usually do is I do build a So I don't, wow, my beautiful desk has been, <laughs> I've done a lot of projects on it, so it's not really beautiful anymore. But, well, let's see what we have here. Oh, they put you a little pad on the bottom of the motherboard anyway these days. <laughs> yeah, these things will, I mean, these things will just tear you apart. If you're not careful. Let me see if that's in the frame. Uh, it's not going to be, you know, I think trying to do it upside down. This is not really a how-to video, I'm just showing you the uh, computer for the channel. Oh, I didn't even grab a screwdriver, because i got to do the M.2. Well, let's, uh, well, yeah, I was going to do the M.2 first, because it makes sense to, do, to go into that cover. I'll be right back. Can't be keep you company. I have a screwdriver and a magnetizer. This is a really handy. You should get one if you don't have one. Alright, so let's do this first. Let's open this. Oh, my trusty utility, utility knife. Sorry about my allergies, like I said. But I need this computer built. It's supposed to be my new replacement computer. Dragging my feet as usual. The power bills have gotten me wanting to switch over because I have two 9700K computers with matching towers and they draw, you know, 40 to 50 dollars a month in power bills and, uh, you know, for worth of power. So, I mean, they do get worked. I mean, I use them for my, my other YouTube channels I do do I actually do do video editing on those so that it brings you know that software for video editing actually editing actually brings the uh, the 9700k to its knees believe it or not and it really spikes it starts sucking some water so and then what I do do my gaming videos it's been a while um just not so busy with life I know excuses excuses but I run them on 4k usually and uh I had to run the main computer, which is a 2080 Super, which I paid like $1,100 for. That was actually, or you know, I don't know if I can even say the C word anymore the, during the sickness. You know, $1,100 is a really good deal. Now they've kind of cooled down in price, so. But uh, I run that for my games, and I have right next to it a matching 97. Well, it's not totally matching, but it's got 9700K in it. It's my recording slash streaming computer. It's got two. It's got an Elgato. A card in a 4K card and it's got an Azure Media card in it. So you get both of those running at the same time and the power just, you know, just starts, the power meter just starts spinning. So I went around, I freaked out and went around and uh, changed out, bought a huge package of uh, LED light bulbs around the house and changed all the lights out to LED. All my air conditioners have been replaced to uh, even the big one to Energy Star rated stuff. This air conditioner in here, this window unit only draws. 384 watts on high, so I'm very impressed. My big one's not, my big one's like 1280 watts, but it's got the rest of the house to cool. So that's 220. So all right, so here we go. Our little little tiny. I can't see the viewfinder. There I am. So let's go focus or not. I can't really see. 
like I said, I couldn't find my mini HDMI cable. I was going to plug it into the TV so I didn't have to keep getting up. But that just goes, you know, slides right in. Oh, the standoff's already there. Handy. The Zeus, does, uh, yeah, I think it's a Zeus doesn't do that. There we go. Springy, springy. I saw a screw here somewhere. Yeah, I'm not really polished with my videos. You know, I don't really don't. I don't like editing. You know, I sit there from my other channel sometimes and just, just... I think one video took me like four hours, which is like nothing compared to the big channels, but I'm like... Ugh. It was going, you know, the more the more I added to it, the more added to it, and the more I edited. Of course, the slower it got because, you know, <laughs> I was trying to render it all. It's just a very slow, tedious process adding everything. And you got to watch your videos like a... You know, I watched my videos like a half a dozen times to pick up all the little things I miss. So I'm like, you know what? For these type of videos, I'm just going to be me. If I see anything glaring, I'll edit it out. But you know, uh, too much coffee before I before I did this. Might be the wrong size screwdriver too. Probably the wrong size screwdriver. Yeah. Get in there, you. There we go. Is there like a bracket or an uh, adapter or something? It's really weird. It has a really big. Hmm. Let's see what the other screw looks like. I never run into, run into that before. See, this has a flat one, which I would expect. That's Wi Fi. Let's take a look at the bottom here. screwed in. Well, that's the first one I've seen like that. What does the bottom of the heat sink look like? Maybe it's supposed to hold it in? Huh. It's probably like an adapter or something that I don't have. They gave me this. I didn't got cables. What's this, this screw right here? The same type. I think it's the same type. Well, we can try it. Somebody in my neighborhood is horn honky today. Or horn, yeah, horn happy. Horn honky happy. Why people do that? Turn the old man <laughs> yelling at the neighbors. Yelling for them being on my lawn. Nope, that does go to the Wi Fi. So. I don't know. I'm not going to let it deter me. I mean, it'll hold it down, but it's kind of, you know, kind of odd. Hmm. Never seen such a thing. That is all the way down. I think. I don't think I have any other screwdrivers in here. I was actually cleaning up. Yeah, I was cleaning up and put things away where they belong. So now I can never find them. Is this a, oh, that's a Phillips head. It's a little bigger. Oh, it is tight. Yeah, it's weird. It has a, a looseness to it. You just stick around. There's only two bags that came with it. That's really strange. Huh. Well, I never use that rock, so I don't know. Um, you know, I mean, the cover does have the, uh, you know, the uh, thing on it, so, or the, um, you know, thermal stuff, so, I just peeled that off. Ah, 
So people like to watch <coughs> watch that get peeled off. So anyway, I'm just gonna leave it like that. It should work, all right. It's you know it's mounted in there. Now if I'm doing something wrong, let me know because I I will admit I'm not used to building on Azrock motherboards or doing AMDs. So. Although the M.2 shouldn't matter. It's pretty much, it's the same on everything for, for the most part. So let's put these in. I will say all these screws have uh, Loctite on them, so it's, that's good. I'm not sure why you need it, but unless you're going to put your computer where it's going to vibrate a lot. Maybe an out of balance fan, I don't know. I bet you I did that wrong. Did I do that wrong? You know what? That's the mount for what? What is going on here? Oh, you know what? I bet. <laughs> I bet you. See, I'm doing this live on camera. I'm not going to edit that part. <laughs> I bet you. That this actually is the thing that holds it down. So, <laughs> oh, this is kind of weird, though. I don't like that though, because you can get your sticky, sticky stuff on it. It wants to pull back up. Yeah, that's that's probably what does it. <laughs> Because you can't screw this in unless you, you know leave that screw hole empty. So yeah, I guess the I guess the heat sink holds it down. All right, well I learn something new every day. That's kind of cool. There's that. Okay, <laughs> that took a lot longer than normal. You know, I do build these things pretty quick, but. Not today, apparently. So I guess the uh, CPU would be next. Put these screws in their bag off to the side here. Um, so we also have installed a. Let me move this over here so you guys can see me physically cutting. There we go. Break it. So we got the uh, looks like the CPU down here on the side with a go faster sticker. I used to love these as a, when I was younger, as a teenager, way back in the day. My cases were plastered with those, you know, stickers. Now my tires just end up on the desk with a bunch of paper, paper stacked on top, of a bunch of files. You know, nobody sees it, and I really don't care either. So there we go, Ryzen. Five fifty six hundred G. This should be a. Is this a Wraith? Let's see. Um, no, this is just a regular cooler. I don't know if they still use Wraith coolers anymore. Been a while. Uh, cat found all the. Packing material on the floor. Babe, like plastic? I wish you'd like plastic. It's just a big piece of plastic. It's not anything that you can swallow. So, these screw in. Or do they? Oh, I see what I have to do. Oh, I don't think my, have my, <laughs> my rechargeable screwdriver in here. So, we gotta do it the old fashioned. Manual way. Let's see if this one will work. Should be pretty quick. So it looks like I just gotta take the, uh, these guys off. Do, 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 do. I complain about that. <laughs> Cats eating his cat treats. Okay. 
I'm not sure if you guys are in the shot. I gotta take a peek. Right around. Right around there is good. Make sure this, uh, I assume I want the, uh, this this way so I have more, 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 more room for memory. Yep, AMD this way. That's still kind of close, but, because there's a, this jets out, so you want to make sure it's not in the way, of course. Thermal compounds pre-applied. I'm not some fanatic or crazy gamer, so I'm not going to. Uh, reapply that. I do have some good thermal compound though. So here we go, the CPU with the pins. Be careful not to touch the pins. And <clears throat> this should have a little gold triangle on the corner there. And on the socket here, there's a mark. A white triangle that's the orientation of the CPU so no force just kind of put it on there the fall in place and what I usually do give it a tiny bit just a gentle wiggle make sure it's in place then take your retention lever and put it back down that's it don't touch the top of it don't get any oils on it just leave it be and I like to right away put on the heat sink just to protect it now I'm going to do this like I was doing, like I'm doing, putting on a car tire, just kind of alternate. A little bit there, a little bit there. There. That sound means it's working. I can't see. It's black. Healthy. Just keep going. You know, in a pattern, opposing sides, and till there we go. Well, not quite there. Where we going? That one. That one's good. That one. And I keep hitting the. Uh, yeah, we're good. Okay. So there is that. And that plugs in up here. There should be a. I think it says CPU. Find the flashlight here. My eyes are getting old. I need my glasses too. CPU fan 2. Okay, water pump. And then. We want CPU fan one, which is the bottom, and that goes this way. There we go. And I'll go uh, afterwards. I'll go get a uh, black nylon zip tie and tie that up. Make it look nice and neat. Okay, what's next? I'll try and clean up here as I go, so I don't have a big mess. Great flashlight, by the way. Energizer. Solid metal. I think it was like $25. It's got the uh, three settings. High, low, strobe. But it's actually kind of neat. You, don't, you Once you turn it on, you, you leave it a second, and then you hit it again. It shuts itself off. But you don't have to go through all the you know, the settings every time you shut it off. So I'm going to get another one of those. I get tired of all those plastic flashlights. You know, I want something that has some heft to it. Something I can really hold on to. So. Well worth the money in my opinion. Getting tired of everything being made of plastic, you know, as I get older. I'm not throwing away so much plastic. I've been trying to buy non-plastic stuff. You went out and bought a set of uh, you know glass storage containers for the kitchen and stuff like that. Well I read while I was studying for my diet that those plastic containers can be bad for you, you know. The, I can't remember the brand name of them, but when you cook food in them, you know, the plastic, the whatever can leach into your food, so, like, yeah. And cancer came up with all of this stuff, so I'm like, oh, I might as well just get glass containers. They're reusable, I feel better, because those glass containers, I mean, they're, they're great if, or not glass, but plastic containers, if you're, um, you know, 
bring a food to a friend or a coworker or a family member or something, but um, you do eventually throw them out because they get stained and ruined. They go into the landfill, so I kind of feel guilty about that too. Oh, that's a <laughs> memory. I'm trying to get it open here. Maybe I can move this light a little bit more. I don't want to get, get glaring off the lens. I know I really should hold it up closer. But I just thought I'd take you along. I'm not I'm not really doing how to like I said, so there are so many videos on YouTube. People that take more time and have better cameras and walk you through every little thing and explain everything in detail. So pop these babies out. I'll have to look in the manual, but what, you, what I usually do is use these two slots. If I have if I have four memory slots, usually I use the, these two away from the cooler. You just don't want to put them together because you want them to run in dual channel and usually, you know, this is a channel and this is a channel. You know, usually separated. But it depends on the manual. I mean, it's been a while since I've looked at a manual. But years ago, they switched over, I think, to the second. And I just got in the habit of doing that because usually I use an aftermarket cooler and usually, you know, a lot of times so some of them will hang over the first slot, so. And I don't like this. A lot of motherboard manufacturers using this. They don't have levers on the side. I really like the, the two levers, but, you know, that's what I have, so. Now, you know, there's a notch here, so you really can't screw this up. There's a notch right here, so you can only put them in one way. But you're going to want to, you know, here in the shop. Kind of put them in like that. Do I have the notch right? I think I do. You just want to put your thumb on this side and thumb on this side and you can hear two clicks. And same thing with the other. Put in there. Thumb on this side, thumb on this side, two clicks. There we go. And except for a little tie here. I just ready to be put in the case, so I'll put some of these things away. There's the uh, I.O. shield for the back. It came with <clears throat> two SATA cables, but I'm not going to use those. Um, the only thing I didn't notice about this motherboard is um, it only has one M.2 slot. The other M.2 is for... Oh no, I lied. I lied. Uh, I digress. There's another one right here, because I have some one terabyte NVMEs I was going to use for storage, so. But I wanted the fast drive for my main operating system door, so. So that's actually really good. I just noticed that. I wasn't even paying attention. So there's an M.2 here, M.2 here, and then there's an M.2 for Wi Fi, which I may actually use. I prefer to be connected directly with Ethernet cable, but. So, let's see if I can. Uh, uh, I'm not going to save these boxes because. Uh, I bought this about six months ago. I think I bought it in October of 2021, so <clears throat> I can't return it. Although I guess I do have the manufacturer's warranty on it. I just get so busy, and I, I didn't well, I didn't need it right away, so I don't know excuses, excuses. My boss would say <laughs> I have a ton of them. Hi, kitty. Oh, you just use a litter box. Thank you. It smells wonderful. I'll just open up the power supply. Get in front of you. But um, the reason, of course, I went fully modular is uh, so I didn't have a ton of cables in the case. I wanted this to be a, this. This was going to be just a simple, basic build, nice and clean. As I get older, I, I really hate, you know, wires everywhere and clutter. I just want things to be nice and neat and clean. I don't have the patience I did when I was young. Seems like I put a wire down and, you know, within two seconds it gets tangled around something. So, it'd be so cool if we ever invented, you know, wireless power, you know. Kind of like what Tesla was working on. Awesome. Get the 
EBJ seal off here. Wow, they really put a seal on there. Well, I'm not too worried about the box. <laughs> that was in there. So we got these. I don't really ever use, but I probably should get the cable bag. Yeah, these days I usually buy the EVGA Golds, or I have Platinum in my, my expensive computer, but that's like a $2,500 computer, so I wasn't, you know, I'm not going to cheap out on a power supply for a $2,500 computer. That's just foolish in my opinion. I have seen a lot of power supplies fail, well, I bought three or four in my lifetime. One caught on fire, one blew up, one smoked. Uh, the other ones, no, I've seen other ones just die. I think the me more memorable ones are the ones that, uh, you know, let out the magic smoke or the magic flame, the magic barbecue. So, and this came in a, I don't know what you need this for. It looks biodegradable though. It's, so, I guess you can take your power supply out after each uh, gaming session or something and, and put it in this, <laughs> in this pouch there. So yeah, see, poly, poly modular. give you uh these are nice these uh velcro straps i have those in my uh i think they're a fantex case they use for my main computers i'll show you my main computers i've done but they had the velcro straps for cable management built in and all my there it's just it's really nice so. do not eat so my cat doesn't get a hold of it. Okay, so we got the screws. Oh, an adapter. This looks like the 20 pin. 24 to 20 pin or something? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, did they finally do away with that? Finally, 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 finally. I want to do a dance. Finally, that's not separated anymore. They used to have the four pin separated on these power supplies. And they, instead of doing that, they give you an adapter. Looks like they give you an adapter for that. Man, it's about time. Those things are so hard to, to you know, to hold on, and the clips are always breaking on them. Man, I want to dance, a dance of joy. So we need, we need the motherboard power supply cable. Um, we need the screws, of course, for the case. Um, we're gonna need. Is this an eight pin? Yes, an eight pin cable. Oh, they still have the breakaway on here, though. <laughs> this must be, might be for the, uh, let's say VGA on it. Yeah. The good thing about EVGA cables, too, they label the side of this as VGA. And right here, here's the CPU one. It's got the, the standard. Because some other boards still use the four pins, so. I can live with that. Oh, that's like the worst one though. If you're, you got a really tight case and you're trying to <laughs> get that in there and hold them together. For some reason, EVGAs just don't like to stay clipped together. This one doesn't even have any. This one doesn't even have any clips on it. So we need that, and hopefully that's it. Came with a power cable. The rest of these can go into the handy candy storage pouch. Where I probably will never see again until I go to get rid of the computer. But I may if I need a set of cable, say the cable, whatever. A friend and I were arguing about that like 20 years ago. His, his uh, professor taught him, taught him SATA, and mine taught me SATA. So. <laughs> we still have to this day <laughs> say it differently. 
this is kind of a running thing between us, you know? It's like data and data. And I can go on and on. Alright. So, um, you guys aren't going to be able to see me building the case because of the camera. I don't really have a higher place to put it, so. I will film it. <laughs> 